before that football was my god I knew I was serious about getting married when I told Lena I'm going to look for a job outside of the seminary so that I can support her up to that point football and football and more football just couldn't find a woman that was fun enough more than football <laughs> so cutting that ties those kind of ties but I was not the only one I know some of the students in the seminary now in seminary now we were starting to be preachers of the Word of God some of these students who are doctorate students study for their doctor's degree our quarterback in our intramural league our quarterback he would spend his time in class now while the professor is lecturing working on plays for our team that afternoon and some of those plays were good <laughs> just too good to give up a good missionary a successful missionaries will have to cut ties with some of the former loyalties if he's going to reach the goals that the Lord Jesus set for him or her so not only immediately responding to the call of God but a good missionary a successful missionary will cut those ties that interfere with the Lord's plan for his or her life <clears throat> thirdly a good missionary a successful missionary is willing to forget the past and focus on the present forget the past and focus on the present John 21 verse 17 would you read that together please ready begin a third time he asked him Simon son of John do you love me Peter was hurt that Jesus asked the question a third time he said Lord you know everything you know that I love you Jesus said then feed my sheep <laughs> trying to imagine what went through Peter's mind and if you were Peter if I was Peter after I said I don't know that man never seen him before after Jesus look at me and look at you and you know I lied and you lied about the fact that we do know him <clears throat> what would you do following that when you run into Jesus again would you start making excuses or would you keep on apologizing over and over and over knowing we cannot undo the past sometimes one of the biggest hold back barrier in our following Jesus is the fact that we spend more time and energy living or regretting the past instead of living today living today instead of regretting the past now to the Philippians Paul wrote to the Philippians knowing they understand the life they have lived now they have chosen to follow the Lord Jesus Philippians 3 13 and 14 Paul said no dear brothers and sisters I have not achieved it but I focus on this one thing forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God through Christ Jesus is calling us the past whether you were successful or failed it will not change the future now trying to spend our time regretting it 
or keep wishing that our successes there will transfer to the present and the future will not change the past anymore. The best thing for us to do is do what Paul said. I focus on this one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. I don't know about you, but if I were to go back and spend my life paying for the wrong, the hurt that I have done, I will need several lifetimes to undo what I have done. But you know, it's not going to do any good. It's water under the bridge. You can never go back and get that water and take it back to the source and let it flow again. Some of us have been blessed with God's goodness, talents, intelligence, influence, position. Some of us. And those things were given to be used now, but they can also be a barrier for you to get over to being a successful missionary. And I believe that Paul is speaking to us, speaking to us today about living in the past. Do you ever live in the past? Have you ever heard people talk about all the days when they were in high school, how great athletes they were? They didn't make it to college, so they keep talking about high school. After they're 40, 50 years old, 60, they still talk about high school. The marriage, well, it's falling apart, but so what? We beat Kamehameha in the bowl game when we were in high school. There are people who live on the success and the glory of the past. Won't do any good today. Or the failures. I was trying to think of that guy's name. The evangelist that plays the piano and sings, what's his name? Swagger. Thank you. I like Swagger. What he did, just as bad as some of, some of the things some of us have done. But I like the fact that he bounced back and keep going. Failures of yesterday's are gone. Don't bring it back. Live today. Peter, or Jesus said to Peter, Peter, apologies won't do any good now. Focus on what's ahead of you, what's in front of you. Don't worry about yesterday. Right now, what I want you to do is feed my sheep. We know we need to apologize for the wrong we have done to other people. Do it and move on. A good missionary does not continue to live in the past, but take the past, forget it, forgive it, and move on. And fourthly, a good and successful missionary